Now, in the past two months, we visited schools and football clubs and talked to different experts and scholars in order to get a glimpse into the future of China's youth football. Now, although we've been talking about ways to make football more popular here in the country, as well as picking the best players and coaches and different methods of training and running a Chinese youth league, at the end of the day, the goal is to expose Chinese people to the essence of football. It's five o'clock in the morning in Beijing, and Tsinghua's primary school students are already starting their day on the field. Today, some of them will be sent to Argentina for a football exchange program. It's 10 o'clock in the morning in Qingyuan, a city in the Guangdong province. And one of the most promising kids from the Evergrande School, Wang Shijie, pulls off yet another amazing goal in a school match. Their Spanish coach, Sergio Diaz, starts off his day supervising the training of 2,600 students on a campus with 50 different pitches. Beijing Xingyi, 1 p.m. Former Liverpool coach Alex Arnold and his colleagues from Club Football FC are busy organizing a youth football championship of their own. Hundreds of kids from around the city are sent to the club by their parents to enjoy the game. Shandong Weifang, 8 p.m. Sergio Varese, a Brazilian coach who's dedicated to Chinese youth football, is on stage with his Brazilian staff and they're playing a traditional Brazilian folk song for the 600 Lunang youth football students in attendance. Among them is He Kanghua, who came to Lunang from Yulong Mountain. He misses his hometown and parents, but his story is not unique. But despite being homesick, He is still willing to stay here and pursue his football dreams. I don't miss my home all the time, and when I do, I just call home. I want to play for the Lunang football team in the future. Football greatness is a dream all the students share. Despite all the problems in China's youth football community, one thing is certain. Every single person we met is very enthusiastic about football, and they are all striving to do as much as they can to improve the level of Chinese football and leave a strong foundation for the next generation to build on, taking the sport to even greater heights. I didn't know much about football before, but now I'm really interested in it. I wish everyone, all my students and teachers, will be in good health. We enjoy football, we cooperate when we train, and when we compete, it helps us live fuller lives. More pitches and a better environment, that's all we need. For me, I want to stay in Brazil and try as hard as I can to move up to a higher level in the league. For China's youth football, I think too much time is spending just getting by. The campus football program is just a formality. We also don't have enough pitches and not enough people playing the game. So I wish in future kids can really like football. That would be the best. The government has high hope Cannot for the football there. industry's future. The whole country is hoping for football to develop here and to cultivate our talents to international level. That is our true dream. I think one of the most important things is making sure football education pays attention to every aspect of kids' development, academically and physically. The goal of making football a part of children's education is to create more multi-talented people. China's future in football can soar. Football needs natural motivation to push it forward. But where will this motivation come from? Clearly, it should not come from the national team victories. I believe our goal is to provide a path that connects sports with the kids' daily lives and make football a part of their life. This will generate endless motivation for the sport, compared to waiting every four years for World Cups and the chance to beat our neighbour countries. My biggest wish is for China's youth football community to grow healthily and naturally. There's no need for any outside force to speed it up. It grows as fast as it could grow up. You will never be able to catch up.
China's football future will only get brighter as the players gain more experience. And with these promising kids grow up, everyone just needs to be patient and look in the long term. Football improves through more than just training. I think through everyone's effort, the future of China's football will gain more and more attention. Tom Bayer, the father of Japanese contemporary football, once said he believes if China could really do well in putting football in schools and start training kids before they even turn six, then Japan will be no match for China. For me personally, I think first we need to build more confidence in the sport. I just wish there will be more young people playing football and really take this game to heart and give our football players the edge. I think the future of China's football needs more coaches. If we have enough coaches and kids participating in the games today, then football will be brighter tomorrow. I wish these kids will influence more kids to join in the sports and train with us here. Football should become a part of our culture. FIFA confirmed that football originated in China, but unfortunately we fall behind in the international rankings. I've dedicated my life to football and I'm willing to try my best to make China's football better. I'm very happy to see the government supporting football. Our school is still searching for a path and are now taking the first step to attempt something new. But we are still young and we hope everyone will come and join us on this undertaking. For those of us working in the football industry, we should create a more adaptable environment for China's youth football. Setting up youth football institutional schools gives young players room to grow. That way, everyone is motivated and that will draw more and more people into the industry. The small town of Weifang has 4 million kids alone. So if we look at all of China, this country is full of potential. What we need to do is wake them up. This is exactly what my team and I are trying to do right now. We really hope our efforts will change things. This is not a short-term thing. With time, I hope my team will be able to join the European leagues. We have the potential, but it can't just be us. We need more clubs, more social recognition, government support, and most importantly, more kids devoted to football. The measurement of success in Chinese football is not winning the World Cup or national results. Success in football will be increasing the population of football players in China, particularly at youth level. When China can say five to eight percent of its kids play football every week, which is the same, which is the level in many football nations, then they will have succeeded. The result of that may not be the World Cup, but it will mean tens of millions of healthy kids who know how to socialize, who understand the values of victory and defeat and the morals of fairness and fair play. Most importantly, we need to focus on kids' football and on how to make it more popular. We need to change our way of thinking, to make the reason about football to be about cultivating kids' future, health and happiness, and making that the biggest achievement in the game. That is the essence of football and the fundamental reason we choose to play. I can feel the government's efforts in developing youth football education. I understand they are supporting the football industry more and more. Football schools such as the Evergrande are a very good example. But now it's time to build the foundation. Maybe after 10 years, China's football population and strength will surprise everyone.